We go out of our way to do things to satisfy ourselves. But once we have it in our hands, or once we know it's within a reach and distance, we're not as satisfied as we thought would be. In fact, we're constantly looking for something new to crave and to chase for. And you come to realize that what was most fun was the process in getting to the destination. We all secretly like having uncertainty towards the future, as much as we whine about not giving directions in our lives and act like NPCs. As definitive set of path and directions in our lives will lose its whole purpose of satisfaction. I'm sure we've all experienced being so hungry from not eating for a while. Your stomach's growling like there's a live bear inside of you and you're craving for a feast. And you end up ordering shit ton of food involuntarily. Sure, for the first couple of bites, it feels like you're in heaven, but after a while, you will reach a point of overeating it and might even regret eating it. Instead of feeling pleasure from the food, you feel sick now. And that makes me wonder, what does it really mean to feel satisfied? You know, like when you eat too much, you oversatisfy yourself, leading you to feel sleepy and unmotivated in doing anything throughout the day. On the contrary, when you eat less food and you don't fucking binge eat, you maintain that feeling of hunger, which exactly applies in being driven and chasing after those goals in life. Our goal is obviously to feel satisfied, but you don't want to be too comfortable where you are and be passive all the time. And there's another scenario which made me question what satisfaction really means. So last year I visited the US to meet my friends. Leading up to it, I remember being so excited and I was even counting down to the day of departure. Like a little fucking girl, right? I know. And I get there in fucking Vegas, you know, I'm walking around in the most dreamy retro city in the whole wide world. And after catching up with my friends, you know, we talk for like a few hours. Then I was like, okay, what's next? It's like, despite all this anticipation and build up to the moment, once I got there, I was like, meh. To me, planning the trip, Packing my suitcases, watching movies on the plane, feeling uncontrollably excited, were actually the moments full of joy. And it goes back to what I was saying earlier that sometimes the process in getting to the destination is the most enjoyable. Also, we like that feeling of not knowing what's to come and the mystery that lies ahead, which makes us people get a little too excited at times. And as much as I want to bash people for our materialistics, like, I kind of get it. There are so many things out there, it's hard to resist not buying them. And there was this hoodie from this brand that I'd be wanting to buy in a minute. It was the latest release, and it looked to be the most perfect gray hoodie I'd ever seen. Then I thought to myself, once I get this, I'll be all set, and that I probably would never want any other clothes. Finally order this shit, gets arrived at my house and obviously I try it on. Yeah, it it look it looks neat and it's alright, nothing nothing too special. Then I thought back to a few days ago when I desperately wanted this hoodie, but now that it was in my hands, I didn't value the hoodie as highly as I did and quite frankly, I wanted to look for a new clothes to buy already. There's something so appealing about clothes that other people are wearing and feel the absolute need to buy it because you think it'll fully satisfy you. But that becomes an endless loop of wanting more, which equals to buying more and always tricking yourself to think that once I have this, I'm going to be the happiest. However, little do you know that the feeling of satisfaction never arrives because you can't fucking have everything in this world. Don't get this twisted though, having a strong desire in life is a good quality to have, just, just don't seek that satisfaction from materialistic things. 
And I've come to realize that the reason why we don't feel content with ourselves and why we find displeasure in our lives, whether it's by us comparing ourselves to others or the constant desire and wanting things which you don't or can't have, or even fantasizing your life to an extreme is simply because we're insecure and we're not happy. The thing is, if we can put our mind to intensively work on something we love, find that thing that when you're working you lose a perception of time and four hours go by without even noticing. For me, I'm working on cinematography and I'm trying to get better at it each day and also trying to make a better video each time. I love when I'm filming and when I'm creating an art, but the process is not easy and it's not supposed to be. And it won't click in days or weeks or even months. But I'm telling you, if you can be persistent in it, you're gonna notice yourself walking a little taller, feeling more content and satisfied in the present. And most importantly, you're gonna start feeling a lot happier with your life. And that's what we should all thrive to be.